Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. This is fourth grade, module five, lesson 33. And in this lesson, students are gonna be subtracting a mixed number from a mixed number. Now, we're not exactly teaching the standard algorithm at this point. Um, because uh, quite honestly, when we do, students just memorize the rule and they kind of lose the meaning of the mathematics. So instead, we're going to be teaching with three really cool techniques. The first technique is turning that subtraction problem into an addition problem and solving the subtraction problem through addition. The second method is we're going to be decomposing the second number, so that the problem, the, the fraction being subtracted, um, decompose it strategically in order to get the answer. And then the third method is we're going to actually decompose the first number uh, strategically in order to get the answer. So those three methods, none of which are exactly the standard algorithm. The standard algorithm we're going to get to later. So let's get started. So as promised, here we're going to use an addition sentence in order to solve the problem. So the idea is this question can be rewritten as an addition problem like this. 2 and 5 eighths plus what gives you 5 and 3 eighths? So the idea is we're going to use a number line and we are going to, I tend to call this an empty, I'm not going to be literal here, I'm going to I'm going to use an empty number line, uh, but 2 and 5 eighths, we know that if we add 3 eighths, that's going to bump us up to 3 holes. And then if I add 1 hole, that's going to give me to 4. And then if I add 1 hole, that's going to get me to 5. And I remember, my goal is I want to get to 5 and 3 eighths. So what do I need? Well, I need to add 3 eighths. And that puts me at my goal, 5 and 3 eighths. So the question is, what did we need to add in order to get five, uh, 2 and 5 eighths up to 5 and 3 eighths? Well, we needed to add 2 holes and 6 eighths. So the answer is 2 holes and 6 eighths. This is a very famous technique. Uh, I happen to use what's called an empty number line because I didn't bother drawing in the eighths and I also didn't bother trying to make it um, proportional. Like the distance from here to here it says is three eighths and the distance from here to here is one which looks the same. And so that's called an empty number line and parents and teachers I encourage you uh, with your fourth graders to be using that empty number line because it's it frees up the student and it's so much quicker to draw rather than a literal number line where they're actually drawing in all the eighths and everything is all proportional. Now here we are going to be sub uh, decomposing the second number that we are subtracting. So the first thing we're going to do, let's do problem B. So problem B, it's we've got 4 and a 7th minus 2 and 4 sevenths. So the idea is, let's zoom in a little bit here. Whoa! There it is. And so the idea is, first thing I want to do is I want to subtract the whole numbers. So 4 and a 7th take away 2. So I'm going to take away that 2. So 4 and a 7th take away 2 gives me 2 and 1 seventh, and I still need to subtract out. Four seventh. And so I'm going to decompose that second fraction right there. That's what I'm going to decompose. And I'm going to decompose it strategically to be one seventh and three seventh because that allows me to subtract here and that bumps me down to two holes. Because two and a seventh take away a seventh gives me two holes. Now I'm going to subtract the remaining. 3 sevenths. So 2 holes take away 3 sevenths is equal to 1 and 4 sevenths. Now parents and teachers, you need may need to walk your students through that a little bit. You might even need to draw some pictures. You could either draw brownies, 2 brownies and take away 3 
sevenths, or you might draw a number line and go backwards three sevenths. It's totally up to you. But that is how we are going to decompose that second fraction in order to subtract the two numbers. Here, uh, it's the exact opposite. Now we're going to uh, decompose the front number in order to get our subtraction. So what we're going to do, whoa, first thing we're going to do is we're going to subtract four and, two, uh, four and three twelfths, take away three, subtract three. So that gives us one and three twelfths, and we still need to subtract eight twelfths. So the idea is, now we're going to decompose this into two components. And I'm going to put the three twelfths right here, and I'm going to take the one here. Now, it's kind of coincidental that this is a one. Um, really, if this was like a, a five, I would have put four of them here and the one hole right here. So this is always going to be a one. And sometimes this up here is going to have a whole number there. But in this case, it doesn't. And then the idea is I'm going to now subtract this part. So one whole minus eight twelfths gives me four twelfths. But now I need to add it to the leftover stuff up here. So that means we're going to do three twelfths plus four twelfths gives me seven twelfths. And there's our answer. Now, of course, if we wanted to, we could, and this is why we teach so many different methods. Let's see, I'm going to write this down right here. 4 and 3 twelfths minus 3 and 8 twelfths. The idea is, the reason we're teaching so many different methods is so that students can check themselves. They don't have to run to the teacher and say, teacher, is this right? Let them solve the problem in a different way. And here, my favorite way is the addition way. So I'm going to take 3 and 8 twelfths. I'm going to figure out what I have to add to get to 4 and 3 twelfths. So here's my number line. Here's 3 and 8 twelfths. Well, I know... If I add 4 twelfths, 4 twelfths, that's going to get me to 4 holes. And remember, I'm trying to get to 4 and 3 twelfths. So I just need 3 more twelfths. And that gets me to my goal of 4 and 3 twelfths. So what did I need to add in order to get this number, 3 and 8 twelfths, up to four and three twelfths, and it turns out I needed to add seven twelfths because four twelfths plus three twelfths is seven twelfths. And of course, that's the answer we knew all along. So now here, parents and teachers, you've got three methods. Your students have some varying degrees of understanding these methods. In fact, this lesson might take over two days because you might want, it might spend over two, you know, over one day, like, ah, you might want to use two days to do this because there's three really valuable methods. And you, and you don't want to just teach one method because it is possible some of your students, the one method you teach, students won't get. So that's why we're teaching so many different methods. So here is a chance for your students to solve using any strategy. And again, I personally, man, I tell you, I love the addition method. So four and three ninths plus what? gives us 6 and 1 ninth. And so down here, we're going to have our little um, number line. And we know that we're going to start way down here at 4 and 3 ninths. And our goal is to get way up here to 6 and 1 ninth. So I'm going to add 6 ninths. That's going to put us to 5. I'm going to add one whole. That's going to put us to six. And then I'm going to add one ninth. And that gets us to our goal of six and one ninth. So what did we add to four and three ninths to get all the way up to six and one ninth? Well, we added one whole and seven ninths. And there it is, one whole and seven ninths. 
is our answer. So here, let's use the decomposition and we'll decompose the second fraction method. So we're going to begin by subtracting the whole numbers. So 8 and 7 twelfths minus 5 gives you 3 and 7 twelfths and then minus 9 twelfths. We're still have 9 twelfths left to subtract. And there I'm going to decompose. I'm going to decompose that to be 7 twelfths and 2 twelfths. And the reason I decomposed it that way is now when I subtract 3 and 7 twelfths, take away 7 twelfths, that gives me just plain old 3, take away the remaining 2 twelfths, and that gives me the final answer of 2 wholes and 10 twelfths. And there is that answer. And that wraps up a beautiful lesson, Grade 4, Module 5, Lesson 33, where students are given a variety of techniques for subtracting a mixed number from a mixed number.